the approaching object, A11PL3Z, officially named 3I Atlas, is a rare and fascinating visitor from another star system, only the third interstellar object humanity has detected. As we observe this object traversing our solar system, we have a unique opportunity to learn about conditions far beyond our own planetary neighborhood. This interstellar visitor is unquestionably of extrasolar origin. Its orbit is a hyperbola, extremely elongated, with an eccentricity of approximately 6.0 comma, far exceeding the threshold for solar-bound orbits. Simply put, it's traveling much too fast, around 67 kilometers per second, to have originated from within our solar system. Because its orbital path is significantly inclined relative to the plane of the solar system, we deduce that it likely originates from a dynamically chaotic region, possibly a distant stellar system's analog to our own Oort cloud. Such a trajectory indicates an origin shaped by gravitational interactions, perhaps from close stellar encounters or violent planetary dynamics, rather than from a stable disk-shaped system like our own. 3. I Atlas is estimated to be about 12 to 20 kilometers across, large enough to resemble many known solar system comets. Early observations reveal a comet-like appearance, featuring a clearly visible coma, a cloud of gas and dust, along with a short tail, forming as it approaches the Sun. Its perihelion, or closest approach to the Sun, is around 1.35 astronomical units, just beyond Earth's orbit. Notably, we've already observed sublimation-driven activity at these relatively large solar distances. Such activity strongly suggests its surface is rich in volatile ices such as carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. These volatile materials sublimate into gas even in the relatively gentle heat found at these distances from the Sun. Because water ice typically sublimates closer to the Sun, within about 1 AU, the early onset of sublimation activity indicates a surface composition consistent with very low temperature conditions, probably similar to distant outer regions of solar systems, reinforcing the idea that this object formed in an extremely cold environment. The brightness variations we see in preliminary telescopic data suggest that 3Y Atlas is likely not spherical. Instead, it may have an elongated or irregular shape, much like previous interstellar objects, or even certain comets native to our solar system. This irregularity is important because an object's shape directly affects how evenly sunlight heats its surface. If the object rotates in a non-uniform manner, sunlight will heat certain areas preferentially, leading to uneven sublimation of volatile materials. Uneven sublimation, in turn, creates asymmetric jets of gas and dust, providing a thrust-like force capable of slightly altering its trajectory. The key phenomena we must watch closely are directly tied to this sublimation process. As volatiles vaporize and escape into space, the resulting outflow of gas and dust exerts a non-gravitational force, effectively pushing the comet, slightly altering its velocity and trajectory in ways that gravity alone can't explain. Additionally, because 3 I Atlas may rotate irregularly, the direction of these jets, and therefore the direction of the push, can shift over time, creating a potentially complex and changing pattern of course deviations. Tracking these small trajectory deviations as the object approaches and passes perihelion is crucial. Observations will help scientists determine the object's rotation rate and axis orientation, the distribution of active sublimation zones across its surface, whether the mass loss is symmetric or heavily skewed, which will determine how dramatically its path could shift over short time periods. Beyond immediate curiosity, 3I Atlas represents an unparalleled scientific opportunity. By carefully analyzing its composition, trajectory deviations, and structural properties, we may learn about planetary formation and evolution processes occurring around distant stars. Its short-lived appearance, limited to a single pass through the solar system, means our window for study is finite. Going forward, Astronomers worldwide will use ground-based and potentially Mars-orbiting spacecraft telescopes to closely monitor changes in brightness to detect shifts in rotation or shape-induced sublimation activity, tail and coma dynamics, indicating volatile composition and surface properties, trajectory variations to precisely measure how non-gravitational forces alter its path. This fleeting visitor from deep space serves as both messenger and mystery offering us insights into environments far beyond our solar system. Through continued observation and analysis, 
we not only deepen our understanding of this intriguing object, but also gain perspective on our own cosmic origins.